showing you guys my desk organization. I asked actually a while ago on Snapchat if you guys would be interested in that video and a lot of you guys messaged me back saying that you would. Um, so in this video I'm just going to be showing you guys how I organized um, kind of the collage on my wall and I'm going to also be going through my makeup collection so you guys can see that as well and of course um, just how, how I kind of organize all my school stuff um, around my desk so if you guys are interested in watching this video then continue um, but real quick if you guys do enjoy this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up it just lets me know that you guys enjoy my content and if you're just checking out my channel for the first time make sure you hit that subscribe button down below I'd really appreciate it um, but yeah if you guys want to see my desk organization then and just keep on watching. So this is just a quick overview of my entire desk area just so that you guys can see pretty much all of it at once. So I just kind of moved you guys in a little closer so you guys can see my collage wall. I get a ton of questions on this wall, like how I kind of put it together and where I got the pieces and everything. So um, real quick, I got these two larger pieces. So the one that says Je t'aime and the one that says follow your dreams. I got those both from HomeSense. And for those of you guys who don't know where HomeSense is or what it is, um, it's basically exactly like a TJ Maxx or TK Maxx, um, but it's specific to home decor and um, like bedding and bath and stuff. Um, it's one of my favorite stores like ever. I absolutely love HomeSense um, and I get a lot of my decor from them. And they're fairly inexpensive. I believe both of them were probably like $24 each. Um, and then this little um, sign over here I actually got from um, Michaels and they're having a really good deal on them so I decided to get that and I just got the and because I don't know it's kind of like an office theme and I don't know, I thought it looked kind of artsy, so I was like, why not? Um, and then the Good Vibes Only sign right over here. I bought that off Etsy, like an Etsy store. It was like a dollar or something. And then I got the uh, frame from Ikea for, um, I think, a dollar as well, or like two dollars. So really, really good. And I love how it's like all kind of white. And um, that one's just black and white. Um, and then I also got these frames over here so basically all five of these frames from Ikea um, but I got um, this Prada sign also I believe I actually found that off Google and then I just kind of cut it and uh, made it work for um, that size either Google or Etsy I can't really remember if I bought that one I got this Chanel uh, perfume sign from Etsy um, and if I can find all of like the Etsy stores that I bought them off of I'll link them down below they're fairly inexpensive I remember um, and then, as I mentioned, I got the um, frames from Ikea. And then this little gold sparkly heart, I actually made that myself and I got the supplies from Michaels as well. So they had like a scrapbook um, glitter paper. So I made that as well as the arrows with that. And then this little guy over here, I got the frame from a dollar store. I kind of wish that I got the, like got another frame from Ikea, but um, I only picked up five that day. Um, but I got the sign, or sorry, the saying, she believed she could, so she did. It's one of my favorite um, kind of quotes that I like to live by um, for like inspiration and stuff. And I got that off an Etsy store as well. Um, and I'll try to link that down below as well if you guys are interested. Obviously, you guys can probably tell my theme, but it's like white, black, and gold. Um, and I really, really like it. I think it looks really classy. And I just love waking up every morning and kind of seeing the good sayings like follow your dreams, good vibes only. She she could so she did um, it's just really inspirational when I'm doing work um, it's just like a nice kind of space to surround yourself with so this is my desk um, I got it from Ikea and it is the Linamin glossy top um, that's why it's like kind of shiny and it's the Alex five drawer over here and then I just have like the legs on the other side I um, mean I really 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 love this table it's my favorite piece basically in my entire room um, and I just love how it's like a perfect size and I love the glossy top it's really easy to clean and everything and I'll have them linked down below in case you guys want to buy it as well but on top of my desk um, I wanted to keep a really really clear space over here so that I can do my uh, homework and my assignments and stuff um, because I am at university after all um, but then I also wanted to keep it really pretty uh, for like the background of my videos and everything and just you know for my own sake um, so on this side over here I have this little gold flower sort of thing in like a mason jar and I got that from HomeSense as well um, and then I got I just have like a little candle from Bath and Body Works over there with um, like a gold leaf um, 
kind of casing, I guess. I just wanted to zoom in a little closer so you guys could see a little bit better. Um, but yeah, as I said, I have like the gold little casing and it's really pretty. Um, and I have, I get a lot of questions about this drawer. I actually got it from a store called Muji. Um, they just recently opened in Toronto. It was about like 24, 25 bucks. So I thought it was a really good deal. It's really sturdy and it holds pretty much all of my makeup. Um, I don't have like a crazy collection or anything like you see on YouTube. I just have like a very humble collection. Um, uh, it's probably gonna grow in the next couple years, but you know, for now this is what I have. So on top of here, I got this, um, what's this, kind of like a divider. Um, I got that from HomeSense as well, it's just a silver color. But yeah, up top here I have pretty much all of my palettes. So I have my Makeup Geek palette, um, I have my two Morphe palettes, the 35O and the 35W, um, and then I have of course my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And then in here I have my Banana Powder, um, I have my Beauty Blender, um, and then I have my MAC Fix Plus. Um, in this little cubby I have all of my um, foundations, so I have the Lancome uh, Tintadol, which I'm currently trying out. I really like it so far. I have my L'Oreal Infallible, um, and I have my Estee Lauder Double Wear, my L'Oreal True Match, and then my Maybelline Fit Me. And then in here, um, I have my RCMA No Color Powder. I actually just got this. I haven't tried it yet, but you guys will probably see me using it in a couple of my videos. I have my Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel, and then I have my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Um, and then in the top drawer over here, I'm just going to go through this really, really quickly because this isn't really a makeup um, collection video, but in here I have like my concealers and then my powders and some highlighters. Um, in here I have my blushes, my bronzers, um, my eyebrow products, and then like some primers. And here I have all my ColourPop shadows and a couple other random like single eyeshadows and stuff. Um, and in here, this one's kind of a crazy drawer. This has like all my lip liners, all my mascaras, my eyeliners, my liquid liners, pretty much everything um, that has to do with like eyes um, that's not eyeshadow. And then in here is just kind of my random drawer. So I have my naked palette because it wouldn't fit up there. Um, and I have some tools like tweezers and nail files and whatever, uh, or nail clippers, and then some random things back there. And over here, I keep all of my brushes. So I got these um, white little, I think these are meant for flowers actually. I got these from Ikea. Um, and I have two of them, and then the one in the back over here, I got from um, Variety Village, or sorry, not Variety Village, I got this from Value Village, which is kind of like a Goodwill or something, um, for super cheap, and I absolutely love it. And then I have all my MAC lipsticks in this sort of container, and I believe I got this container from Home Outfitters, so not Home Sense, but Home Outfitters, it was super, super long time ago. Um, but yeah, these aren't all my lipsticks. I keep my lipsticks kind of somewhere else. Um, or like my liquid lipsticks, but those are all my MAC ones and I like displaying those. And then if we move sort of this way, I have a bit of a gap and then I have um, sort of like, I don't know, something pretty, I guess. So yeah, this is just kind of like my glam corner. Um, I just really like it for display mostly. Um, but this A I got from Home HomeSense, I believe. Yeah, I got this from HomeSense. Um, it was actually really inexpensive too. I got this sort of like prayer hand thing from um, Urban Outfitters um, a couple years ago, but it's like one of my all-time favorite pieces, like in general. I just love this thing, and I keep all of my like pretty jewelry I, that just like kind of matches my theme, so like gold and black, um, and then I keep my watch here and stuff. Um, and then this little flower vase thing I got from Ikea, and it's cute. It has like little... Um, polka dots all over it and then I have this sign it just says flawless in gold and then it has like black and white in the background I got that from um, home sense as well I told you guys I love home sense I literally go there so much um, and I just love they do their decor because it's so beautiful but so inexpensive so highly recommend going to home sense or TJ Maxx and those kind of stores so my bookshelf isn't really that special or anything but right over here I have my lucky bamboo um, that my mom gave me before I moved in this year 
Um, and I love it. It has like a little elephant on the side. Just kind of gives me good luck and stuff. And um, it's just nice having some greenery in my room as well. Um, and then up here, I just have a candle. This is um, the Vanilla Bean candle by uh, Bath & Body Works. This I also just got from Bath & Body Works. It's just a little topper. Um, and then I have um, just like this really pretty necklace kind of just on display over here because it goes with the theme. And I don't want to go too much into detail about the rest of my bookshelf, but basically in the top over here, I just have my sunglasses. I have another candle from Bath & Body Works. Um, I have this little Eiffel Tower um, that I got from Walmart um, about like two years ago um, or three years ago now and then I have um, my liquid lipsticks pretty much all of my liquid lipsticks there um, and then over here uh, basically I just keep my books um, and like my notebooks for school and then in the bottom I just keep like my camera equipment so in the top drawer over here um, I have pretty much all of my eyelashes um, and I like to wear eyelashes for my makeup tutorials and my YouTube videos and stuff um, and for other occasions obviously, but um, I know I have an excess amount, this is a lot, but uh, they're really inexpensive, so I bought like a ton at once. Um, and then back here I have kind of like random things, and this drawer over here is basically my school supply drawer. Um, so I have everything from highlighters um, to like pencils, pens, whatever, I have like my calculator and pretty much all my school stuff. In this one, I have pretty much like all my hair tools, so like my blow dryer, straightener, curler, blah blah blah, um, like some sock buns, and yeah, just random stuff. And then in this bottom drawer, I kind of, it's more random stuff, but it's more like organized. Um, and I have just like um, my teeth whitening box back there. I don't really know why I have this. I don't know, it's empty, but I have this anyway. Um, and then I have some like extra teeth whitening gels. I have my um, brush cleanser, like just the extra brush heads. Um, and then I have like some Lysol. But the bottom is where I just like to keep my extra makeup bags. Um, like when I go back to Toronto and stuff, I like carry all my makeup and stuff in there. And then I just have uh, some more cleaning supplies. So this is just the last overview of my entire desk area. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will have everything linked down below as always if you guys are interested. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up um, if you guys enjoyed it. And also subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.